Hello, this is Lisa Sew Bubbles with a requested video on how I use Embrilliance Enthusiasts to create monograms that look like they're intertwined. A true intertwined monogram will have been digitized as a one-of-a-kind design from original artwork. However, so many things can be done with software, and the tools and editing features of Enthusiasts make your imagined ideas possible and within your reach. Our first step in this project is to create the monogram by either merging in letters or by using one of the many BX installable fonts such as this intertwined monogram from the Itch to Stitch. Use the center adjusters to move the side letters on top of the center letter to create the monogram that looks pleasing to you. The next step is to set each letter as a different color so that when we open the stitch file in the next steps, each letter is its own object. Save your work and print out an actual size template so that you can create the editing plan. Here is where you decide what parts of each letter are going to intertwine or loop through the letter it is on top of. Each monogram will be different and different fonts can demand different choices. This process is 100% artistic and there is no right or wrong choice. I like to use markers to designate the intersections that will be cut and moved to stitch at different times. For example, the top left swirl of the letter S needs to stitch before the L and the lower left swirl of the letter L needs to stitch after the letter S. It's much easier to see this visually than have me describe it to you. Editing the stitch files with this plan will give us a design that looks like an intertwined monogram after it is stitched and all the jumps are trimmed. Back to Enthusiast. Open the stitch file and save it with a new name keeping the original working file intact and editable in the future. With plan in hand, we will start the stitch editing process by first expanding the design in the object tree. The first selection we want to move is part of the letter S. Using the lock function of the object pane, we can select the letter L and lock it so that it can be a visible guide to help us select only the stitches we want. When stitch editing, the zoom function is your best tool for accuracy. Our plan shows that these stitches must be moved in time so that they stitch out before the letter L. Choose the least complicated location when deciding where to split your stitches to get the smoothest stitching results. Use the lasso tool to carefully select the stitches you want to segment. When two areas of stitches are really close together, you may have a simpler time making your selection without 3D viewing turned on. Don't be afraid to zoom in. Use the control key with the paintbrush to unselect any extra stitches. Be sure to zoom out to verify. Choose the slice function which will create a design with just these stitches. The software adds needle points at the cutting line for a seamless split. Now is the time to move this selection to stitch first in our object pane. Mission complete. Let's move on to the next step. The next set of stitches that we want to reorder would be at the bottom of the letter L. First, we need to unlock the L and lock the S so that we can easily select the stitches. Zoom in close to what we've been working on. Use the heads up display as a quick way to navigate to the current zoom value. As before, use the free hand selection tool and slice the stitches into a new design. Let's lock the first part of the L so we are more accurate in our selecting of individual stitches. This design needs to look like it is coming from the back side up and over, so we may need to delete a couple stitches and move others so that they slightly overlap the section they are touching. The amount that these few stitches need to overlap will be determined by the design and as you gain experience you will know how much is enough. The end result of our editing will be a monogram that has the illusion of being intertwined more so than simply overlapping letters. 
the two swirls on the letter A will be done in similar fashion. The tricks to remember are to do the following. Be sure to zoom and use the heads up display to get up close and personal with your stitches. Being able to see the stitches makes it a whole lot easier to select them. Use the object pane to change the stitching order of your new objects. Be sure to lock the objects in the display pane that you do not want to be affected when you use the freehand select. Turning off the 3D view allows you to have a clearer view of the stitches that are underneath as well as where the needle points are. Turning on the 3D view lets you see what the design will look like when it's stitching. Run the Sew Simulator to see the final stitching order. Change your monogram design to a single color using the One Color button and save your stitch file. Yes, you will have to trim your dumb stitches, but the end result will give you a lettering design that has the look of being intertwined or twisted together. Remember that with these tips and techniques, you can change any style monogram or lettering object to have an intertwined look. A special thank you to the folks at The Itch to Stitch for allowing me to use their intertwined monogram font available in the BX format in this video. Be sure to visit my blog for other software tips and helpful techniques.